Hello, this is Corey Robertson. I am a professional certified coach and I'm the founder of the Corey Robertson Coaching Academy for Leaders. Uh, this week on Tuesday afternoon, I spoke to you about how the world is in overextension and I spoke to you about how self-awareness can go a very long way in helping people identify their overextensions and talk themselves through them. We call it the journey to composure. So today I'm back to talk to you a little bit more about what those um, overextensions mean, what they look like and what you can do about it. So if you remember, if you watched, um, if you watched on Tuesday afternoon at 4.30, um, you'll remember this, uh, but just as a quick little recap, we talked a little bit about right now in the, uh, the condition we find ourselves in with COVID-19, we find ourselves in a situation where we've had no choice and no control over being forced to, to change the way we live and to really reinvent the way we live and the way we work. Now, in a best case scenario where, where a change is required, we have lots of time to you know, control the situation, lots of time to pre prepare and to plan and make choices and make decisions and set things up nicely. And we also have absolute control over the situation. So that's where the best case scenario. Right now, we find ourselves in the worst case scenario, which is no time and no control. So uh, this puts us in a very stressful state. And it's not just you, it's not just me, it's everybody. We're all like this. So we're all going through this right now. But leaders have the added responsibility of not just getting themselves themselves through this, but also helping to get their team members through this as well. So what's really important to understand is that when we're stressed, we we behave differently. So we all have strengths. Now, what I was talking about last time is uh, an instrument that I work with called the Lumina Spark Psychometric Assessment. And what we talk about in Lumina is how we have three layers of our persona. We have our underlying persona, which I explained last time. We talked about the everyday persona, which I also explained, and the overextended persona. So this is where I want to dive more deeply today, because what happens when we are in overextension is that we overuse our strengths. So this is very interesting. So let me, ex let me explain this in a little bit more detail. So everybody has 24 human qualities. We all have all of them, but we use them to you know more degree or lesser degree depending on you know our skills and our confidence with these with these qualities so when we're overextended what we tend to do is we use too much of a good thing we revert too strongly to what works what's always worked in the past what we have always been able to rely on so for example um uh let's see a person who is generally very accommodating could all of a sudden become acquiescing. A person who is usually very uh, collaborative when they're overextend overextended, they become obsessed by consensus. So it's up to you as a leader to be able to recognize yourself when you're overextended and also to be able to speed read others. So the more you have self-awareness, the more you have awareness around emotional intelligence, what it looks like when emotional intelligence is present, what the qualities look like when they're present, the more you're able to recognize the overextension. So here's here's a couple more examples. And these are um, these are in the blog from this week. You can find the complete blog article at www.coreyrobertson.com. Um, so, for example, you might have a leader who's usually um, very reliable. You know, she's your go-to person. You can count on her to. Um, you know, take on whatever you pass her way, and she's always able to to deliver. You know, on time on budget, you know, in top quality, but all of a sudden she's becoming hesitant, you know, not, not quite able or ready to uh, address your requests. This is a sign of overextension. Another example, for example, is somebody who's usually really admired for their ability to be tough. Now all of a sudden is showing up as being out, downright argumentative. This is another sign of overextension. Tough becomes over, um, it becomes argumentative. Um, 
you know, somebody who's usually really good at, um, you know, managing and, and seeing things through and, and making sure, you know, everything's up to spec and up to quality is now all of a sudden being accused of being a micromanager. You know, when you go and you ask him what's going on, he says, I'm not micromanaging. I'm just, I'm just doing my job. I'm, I'm doing what I'm good at. So it's normal for this to happen. We overuse our strengths. You know, we, we over rely on what works because we're under pressure and we have to push things through, um, you know, more, you know, what feels like more aggressively or, or with more urgency. So the best way to handle this, and there's actually a really good, if you go to my website and you, you read the blog, you'll see that there's a, a video embedded and it's my colleague Janice explaining what's called the journey to composure. So this is a, um, it's a process that was invented by Lumina Learning and what it, what it teaches you to do is to revert back to some of your other strengths. So when you can start to recognize your triggers for your overextension, you know, the self-talk, the negative self-talk, or sometimes, you know, the physical signs like clenching your jaw or becoming tense, you know you can recognize that you're going into overextension. And then you can talk yourself off the ledge and you can figure out what are my other qualities, what else can I rely on so that I don't overuse this one strength. So it's explained beautifully uh, in Janice's short video, which I really hope that you uh, that you have a chance to look at. So the uh, blog article is at www.coryrobertson.com backslash blog. And this week's title exactly is, uh, Is Your Team Overextended? How to Recognize the Science. The, the Lumina Spark Psychometric Assessment is a very, very powerful tool that you can use starting today, even though we're in a world of working from home and teams are almost completely virtual right now, you can still do this and it's a great opportunity to you know, establish rapport on the, you know, on the online platform and to open up conversations around you know, what are, what are our strengths and what are, are the overextensions that occur for us when we're, um, when we're under stress, when we're, you know, experiencing, you know, the world around it, as, the world around us as it is right now. Um, so the psychometric can be done online. It's a, it's a, it's a questionnaire, you know, they're often called personality tests. They're really not tests. They're not about right or wrong or good or bad or, you know, being better than somebody else. It really is an assessment to look at your strengths and how they show up in your underlying persona, your everyday persona, and your overextended persona. And it also, also gives you a chance to look at, you know, what are some of those strengths that you know you're not claiming that you're not using as often as you could? That's where you have an opportunity, you know, to be a you know a diamond in the rough. How can you bring these out and have more tools in your toolbox and more skills at your disposal, and not just for yourself but for your team members as well? So the um, the assessment is all completed online, and then the debrief is also done in a you know a, like a Zoom room or you know some kind of a, a group video chat where we can really get into a really profound conversation that will reveal strengths to you and will also give you the superpower of being able to recognize overextension and how to you know take the journey to composure and go back to your you know your most powerful self. So I hope this was interesting. I hope you have a chance to go to the blog and um, and read that article. There's also lots of links to other resources in there. So we're working really hard at making sure we're giving you plenty of resources to fall back on during this uh, incredible time when leaders are needed more than ever. So take good care of yourself. Do well, be well, and stay well. Once again, I am Corey Robertson. I am a professional coach and I'm the founder of the Corey Robertson Coaching Academy for Leaders, where we help people, mostly, mostly in high tech, learn their skills, learn their superpowers and put them to work every day. So I will be back next week with a brand new blog and uh, brand new uh, live videos. So